to the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program entitled, A Musical Journey on the Baltic Sea. Share with us in the sights and sounds from well-known cities and towns nestle on the shores of the Baltic Sea with music from famous cathedrals and concert halls. Thank you for joining us. musical journey on the Baltic Sea begins in Rostock, Germany, where we visit the Marian Church in the town center. Although much of Rostock was destroyed in World War II, one of the oldest and most picturesque places of Rostock is the New Market Square, with its 13th century town hall, the 15th century Kerkhof House, and the St. Mary's Church, built in the 13th century. Mary's Church in Rostock is the biggest of three town churches found in the Hanseatic city of Rostock in northern Germany. St. Mary's Church, known in German as the Marienkirche, is a large brick Gothic church built in the 13th century. The first reverence to a church on this site was in 1232 which is thought to be the predecessor of the current building.
The huge Baroque prospect of the Marian Orgel was developed and built in 1770 by Paul Schmidt, an organ maker from Rostock. In 1938, the organ was eventually completed by organ builder Sauer of Frankfurt and consists of four manuals and pedal board, 83 stops, and 5,702 pipes. In the 1942 heavy air raids by the Royal Air Force, which lasted three days, much of Rostock was destroyed. The sexton of St. Mary's Church, Mr. Bombowski, saved the church by decisive action, extinguishing the fire with the help from his daughter and a German auxiliary Air Force commando.
program of sights and sounds on the Baltic takes us on to Stockholm, Sweden, where we disembark and continue our journey by car on to the impressive Uppsala Cathedral. of Uppsala, Sweden is the largest cathedral in all of Scandinavia and is the center of the Swedish Lutheran Church. The twin-spired rose-hued Gothic structure stands nearly 400 feet tall and boasts an impressive Gothic interior. Inside are relics of St. Eric, several notable tombs, and a small museum of ecclesiastical treasures. One of the great orchestral works of Franz Schubert was his eighth symphony, known as the Unfinished Symphony, written six years before his death. Where most symphonies contain four movements, Symphony No. 8 included only two. However, with its beauty and depth, it remains today one of Schubert's most popular compositions.
Amazingly for the joy of music are the three organs in the Uppsala Cathedral. The older organ built in 1871 with 50 stops stands in the rear loft of the sanctuary. A chancel organ of 15 stops and the new organ just recently installed is a Rafati organ built in 2008, which stands in the side gallery with two consoles, one in the loft and one on the floor of the cathedral.
Our journey continues to Helsinki, Finland, where we play the amazing organ of Finlandia Hall. Georgi Mushel was a Russian composer who lived from 1909 to 1989. In addition to his well-known Toccata for organ, which we hear today, he composed operas, ballets, chamber works, and film scores. He was greatly influenced by local traditional music, which is evident in his compositions. is Diane Bish and I would like to thank you for joining us today on the Joy of Music as we have taken you on a musical journey on the Baltic Sea. We hope you have enjoyed our trip together and we look forward to seeing you again next week on the Joy of Music. Yeah.